So she had a bit of trauma when she was very young. Um, some people tried to steal her. Yep. Um, and then after that, I, I guess we didn't handle it well, and mm-hmm. then she's got progressively worse. Now she's got yeah. like very bad fear-based aggression. Okay. Like, she's fine at home when it's just with us. Like, she is, she's got, like, the basic training in terms of, like, sit, stay, that sort of thing. But she's very fearful of other people and other animals. Okay. Let's go find the dog. Oh, she comes out wired. Okay, so. Make my life kind of easy because it's on a normal collar. You gonna bring your dog this way, bud. This way? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I need the dog a little bit close to me if we're going to actually help you. So... Let's bring her down here. So, this is her normally, yeah? Has she got a haughty on? She has, yeah. yeah. A haughty and a flexi lead. Uh, yeah. The two don't make sense. <laughs> no? No. So the haughty is designed for the dog to walk close by your side and give you control. The flexi lead is designed to give the dog freedom. If you're giving the dog freedom on a haughty, yeah. it's going to create discomfort. You have a very nervy dog. Yeah. But you guys are terrified. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's abundantly clear I asked you to get the dog out of the car, right? Well, for a start, okay, you come down here without the dog, yeah? <laughs> right? Then when I asked you to get the dog out of the car, you get the dog out of the car, but you go and hide behind another car. Yeah. Now, these are all things that we're going to work through, but the, the reality is that only happens when you're worried about how the dog's going to behave. Yeah. Now, in order for me to help you, I need to see how the dog's going to behave yeah. and actually do it all right so your level of fear plus this dog's level of fear is not good is not good in the yeah. slightest the reality is she is very very nervy right and you can see so if you walk back walk back walk back right and stay there the dog isn't going to attack anyone all right the dog is more scared come close now when i put the same dog in your hands when you're nervous yeah she freaks out massively yeah yeah so let's just go for a walk well it's fine so right now i'm not asking for any real direction i just want to get her moving the more she can move the more she can relax right but the, the reality is she's absolutely terrified. Yeah. But she's not inherently aggressive until you put her with someone that is terrified. Yeah. And put the haughty back on her, but okay. we're going to use a normal lead, not a flexi lead. Okay. okay. So let's go for a walk. So how much exercise does your dog get? Well, no, she's starting to how much exercise outside the house does she get okay so she's not getting enough exercise in the garden it's an extension of your house it doesn't count okay so let's come back this way This is how I want her to be. So I need her to slow down a little bit. Also just paying attention to how much she looks at you guys. All right. So the only time... Mum, do you spoil her? (laughs) Yeah, you do. Because she's desperate to get to you. Yeah. Which I spend most time. Yeah. Whatever. So, right now, what, what? So when my if my dog gets nervous, she comes to me and she'll go behind me and she'll let me take charge of a situation. 
when your dog is trying to get to you guys at the minute, she's not doing it for you to take control of the situation. Yeah. She's doing it because next to you, she's powerful. Yes. Yeah. So you give her this illusion of self-confidence. Yeah. And the dog will often gravitate to the weakest person. She's actually a coward, right? Yeah. Yes. So walk towards. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely fear based aggression. Yeah. Good girl. We're dealing with, we're not dealing with people like you. No, I know, I know, but, but in that scenario, she's having to deal with it by herself. So bring her to your side, shorten up that lead. <laughs> nice, but relax. Put the lead in one hand. There we go. Perfect. Now, as I walk towards you, just step one step in front of her. Yeah. As I walk towards you, just do this, right? Good girl. Thought about it because that's her go to yeah, mechanism. Reaction. But you just said in that moment, don't worry, and let's see how she can then just look away. So, she, and now she's trying to sniff. So bring her back this way. Bring her back by your side a little bit. Yeah. So she's so on edge. Bring her out like that. Perfect. And again, perfect. So, and again, you want to keep her, keep her there. Good girl. Because what happens, the other thing you want to pay attention to is where is her shoulder and head in relation to you, right? If I'm looking at Ben, the cameraman, my dog, sh and I've stopped with my dog, my dog should be in that direction as well. If I stop and my dog turns around and sits this way, it's because my dog's worried about something over there. Now, if my dog's worried about something over there, but I'm paying attention here, I'm not paying attention to my dog. And then my dog is panicking. That's why she's all this, all round, all round, all round, all round, all round, and then she explodes, right? Okay. So, so, so if, she, if she turns to look the other way, yeah. then what's best to correct her to look Yeah, forward? but yeah, like this. She should be in the same direction as you. Good girl. Then she can relax. Now, that shaking off is her relaxing, letting it go. Now, she wouldn't have got to that bit if you keep letting her look behind you because that's her concern taking over. That's her making a decision as well at that moment in time, and then she overreacts. So your job is to make the decision for her and go, no, this way, yeah? Because this way is where we're at. Be with us, yeah? yeah? That's it, perfect. All right, so walk forward a little bit, Steve. In front, and then back. In front, bring, that's it. Then back, then reward. more curious good girl good girl good girl health no join I mean, nothing like that no. this looks massive <laughs> walk her a little bit see if that helps any better this looks better so far So far, so good. Angel, maybe just tuck the strap in a bit. There's one that's long. So we want to give her something to focus on. So when a dog's got a job, it can build their self-confidence. It can slow them she down, give them something them. to focus on. It's good. Now, Schnauzers are a working breed. Yeah. I mean, their job wasn't to carry stuff. Their job's more to hunt. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that they can't have a job outside of what they were designed to do. Yeah. See so the shaking off now, these all good things. So create a bit of space, go around. Relax your arm. So if you shorten up the lead a little bit in your left hand, that's it, now walk. Nice, keep walking, get nice and chilled out. 
Relax your arm. There you go. Everything's got to be relaxed. Relax, relax, relax. Good. See the difference? <laughs> See how the dog's looking up at you now? Into a sit. 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 Take your time. Into a sit. 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 She will. She's done it every time. She's just saying fuck you right now. But right, so here's the thing. You can't so I'm gonna put Frank away a second. Right, can you take the dog for a second? You are too aggressive with that lead. Okay. Yeah, like sit. you can't. The dog's not going to be able to sit if you're pulling the dog up. Yeah, every time you're correcting the dog, the dog's paws are coming off the floor. Yeah, I, I don't think that's me pulling her though. That she she just she just gets up. No. Like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying she doesn't go up on her back legs. Yeah. Like because when when she does, but you, the so you are so trigger happy with the lead. Yeah. yeah? We need to slow everything down. You're trying to get her to do everything as fast as you can. And in the process, she can't do it. So when you ask the dog to sit, yeah, ask her to sit. Luna, sit. Luna, sit. Yeah, and see how she just went like that? Yeah. That's her way of saying no, bollocks. Yeah. Now, if she does that, you're going to really struggle to get her to stop reacting to the dog. So you bring her back out. That's it. All right, put her on your left-hand side because that's the way her haughty set Luna, up. Come. That's it. Luna, sit. Sit. And if she won't sit, then you pull up slightly, not enough to bring her off the floor. Luna, sit. Sit. And then you relax. Good girl. Stop there. Ask Luna, the come. dog to sit. Sit. Luna. Luna, sit. And if it doesn't do it, gently push the bum down. There we go. Relax. Good girl. Good girl. Frank. <laughs> Luna, sit. Nice. Good girl. We'll give her a little break. Good girl. Luna, where's the tree? <laughs> so the people bit is quite easy. So look, so she's just looking there. So just, just bring her in closer to you a little bit. That's it. See that? And how she just had a little look away. Yeah. Yeah, just tuck in tight to your dog so the dog's not left out in the open. Things like that. So she's getting the people bit really, really fast. The yeah. dog bit's harder. Yeah. But the hardest thing for you guys is to learn to slow down. So we're just going to let her chill out for a little bit. But look, see, that was perfect with the lead. Yeah. That step come a little bit too late, but it's fine. Yeah. She didn't react. But the lead, there was nothing on that lead. Yeah. We sort of trigger the reaction because we start to apply pressure to that lead before we need to okay. so then the dog starts going what's going on what's going on what's going on yeah puts two and two together and starts to react when alex walked past your lead stayed your lead didn't move yeah and so there was no sort of precursor to get on guard you was talking to me having a conversation and that's where she needs to be she needs to learn to stay behind you she needs to learn to slow down You're a good dog, aren't you? She's a great dog, by the way.